everyone. Is that, is that yeah. So thank you for coming this morning. We are the City of Sydney and our community are absolutely opposed to the construction of this interchange for West Connex here adjacent to Sydney Park. This interchange will cover the same area in size as the whole of Sydney Park. This, this interchange will deliver on a daily basis into Euston Road where these uh, mature Malalukas are going to be cut down. We'll deliver to Euston Road which carries 7,000 vehicles a day now. We'll carry 60,000 vehicles a day when this interchange opens. That 60,000 vehicles will go up Euston Road into McAvoy Street and up into Burke Road and into the global city of Australia. No provision has been made for this and we certainly don't want six lane highways delivering traffic into a congested city. Why are we closing George Street in the city? Why are we putting in light rail? We're doing this for the global city but we're, one of our biggest issues is congestion. Congestion is currently costing us five billion a year in the city. It'll be eight billion um, if it's business as usual. We do not want this traffic delivered into our city. We do not want Sydney Park uh, impacted and destroyed. Sydney Park is now the major regional park of this area. Sydney Park has just had $23 million spent on it. It is creating a beautiful regional park for necessary recreational needs of a growing residential population. Yeah. 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 West Connects is a project that is having billions of Australian dollars spent on it, public money. The very worst project at the time of accelerating global warming and the very worst project at the time of increasing congestion in our city. We will do everything at the City of Sydney to oppose this project. We will do everything we can to stop this interchange being built here that will deliver thousands of vehicles into our city and destroy our city. This is not a good project for Sydney and we will oppose it. Yeah. Today the proposed demolition of these beautiful mature Melalucas is just the first stage. After that will come the construction. And as I said, it will be the size, the interchange will be the size of Sydney Park. Try and imagine that. And try and imagine the impact it will have on Green Square, where 60,000 people were planned to live by 2030. Imagine the impact it's going to have on Alexandria and Erskineville and, and King Street in Newtown, and then up into our city. Imagine what's going to happen when those thousands of vehicles pour out into Parramatta Road and then down to Broadway to George Street, which is closed. You know, this, I, and today I want to call for the resignation of Duncan Gay because he has not Go away, Duncan Gay! 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 The city needs a, a, a minister capable of coping with a modern urban city. Not a National Party member who thinks it's a good thing to deliver vehicles into the city. And you know, this is not good for the West. 89% of people who live in the West who come into the city to work are coming on overcrowded public transport. They need improved public transport. They don't need to sit in congested traffic and pay expensive tolls. They will have to pay up to $200 a week in tolls. This is not good for the western suburbs. It's not good for people who live in the west who want to come into our city. This is a bad project for the western suburbs. It's a bad project for the eastern suburbs. And it's a bad project for our city. And we oppose the cutting down of these Melalucas. Thank you. Yeah.